Hey guys, I'm The Illusionist and I'm back after a very long time, I know. And today I'm back with a card and book trick because I've always loved book tricks and I think they've always been kind of complicated and they needed like gimmicks and stuff. So I created this trick with a pack of cards and two books which requires no gimmicks. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to take this pack of cards, I'm going to shuffle it. Then I'm going to ask the spectator to choose a card, like, for example, if they say stop here, it's the jack. And if they say stop here, it's a different card. Here, it's a different card, etc. So you get it. So I'm going to go a bit faster, and you say stop whenever you want. And as I'm alone, because I'm friendless, I'm going to say stop to myself. So let's say stop here. Take a look. Remember the card. I'm not seeing it. I lose it in the deck. I'll ask you to think about it. Now I'll put the cards away. Take the books. So I have here two books. I'm going to ask the spectator to choose one book while remembering the card that's important. So I don't have a spectator, so I'm going to pick one of myself. Let's say they pick this one. So I'm going to give them this one. This is going to be the spectator book. And I'm going to take this one. So as you can might or might not notice, these books are French. And that because guess what? I'm French. Yeah. <laughs> so let's say they t they picked this one, which is called Comment devenir une rockstar ou pas, which means how to be a rockstar. It's, it's not about music so much, but never mind. I'm gonna take this other one, which is pretty creepy, but never mind. And I'm gonna scroll through the pages like so, and I'm gonna ask the spectator to say stop whenever they want. So I'll start. Let's say they say stop here. I'll open the book. I have a look at the page number and I am at page 209 so I'm going to ask the spectator to open the book once again this was a free choice you said stop whenever you wanted you chose the card everything I'm going to take this book open it to page 209 show you I'm not cheating and look on page 209 is written eight of clubs is that the card you picked and look you can check this is page 209 isn't it amazing i hope you enjoyed it i'll be right back for the explanation so how does it work it's really simple basically you start off forcing a card so i chose the eight of clubs so let's say you choose the king of spades so to force it i used the hindu force where you just I'm not going to explain it because I've already made a video on it. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. And if you already know how to force cards, then that's great for you. So now that's done, then you just lose it in the deck. It's really simple. The card part is like extremely basic. It's a really basic trick. Then you get the two books, two books of your choice. It can be any books. If you can, try having them approximately approximately the same thickness that we would that will work better for the next part so then you're to prepare the books basically before the trick pick one of them pick a page around the middle and just write the name of the card you chose the way I did if you don't want to do it on the side I know you can't really read, but my camera won't focus. Sorry, guys, it's kind of crap. If you don't want to write it there, I guess you can write it somewhere else, or bigger or smaller, as you wish. Just pick that page, make sure it's around the middle, remember it, and make sure the card you write is the same that the card you made them pick. So then, when your books are ready, you're going to perform what's called the magician choice, where you basically make the spectators think they're, pick they're choosing, but they're not really. It's kind of like forcing a card, but you could do it with everything. So here, they if they pick this one, I'll say, okay, then this one is for me and this one is for you. If they pick this one, I'll say, okay, this one is for you and this one is for me. So anyways, all you want to do is make sure the book with the writing is there. So then, they're taking this one, page 209. Then I'm going to ask them to say stop whenever they want and just make sure it's around the middle open a random page that's where the trick is and it's so simple literally 
I, I don't know how, but people don't realize when you do this. Pick around the, the middle, though. <laughs> right now, you're really taking people for dumb bums, if, <laughs> if I can say. Look at the page number. It's, you can't see it, but it's 189. I'm just going to say it's 209, and they're not going to check. They're not going to think, why would he lie? So, you pick that, it says 209, you ask them to open the book, page 209, it's written, Eight of Globs, amazing, oh my god, you did it. Everyone's really impressed, because the odds of picking the page and the book are, like, pretty small. Look at how big they are. It's like 1 out of 52 for the cards, times 1 out of 2 for the number of books, and times, like, 1 out of 100 for each book, basically. <laughs> like, if, if, if this wasn't a magic trick, it would be amazing that they picked them. <laughs> the right page. So that's basically it. It's a really simple trick. I love it. I invented it. I don't love it because I invented it, by the way. <laughs> I'm not like that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and a comment. That would be really nice. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully not in six months, the way I did last time. So yeah, see ya.